Muslim faithfuls gathered at the Abuja National Mosque for Jumat prayers and Democracy Day service. The chief imam of the National Mosque Abuja says Islam agrees with most concepts of democracy, but the reality of Nigeria fails to meet practical expectations of democracy. The imam reiterates that the government should give priority to the citizens and admonished legislators to refer to the teachings of Islam and Christianity in the discharge of their responsibilities. Islam is in agreement with most of the concepts of democracy. Justice, freedom, good governance, check and balance, separation of power, to mention but a few. Even though these values constitute the fundamentals of governance in democracy, the reality fails to meet theoretical expectations because of serious missing link. Hence our call to learn from divine teachings in governance and public life as contained in the Holy Book and illustrated by the Holy Prophet and the righteous caliphs. He also touched on the prevalence of social vices and assault on the faith of others under the guise of freedom of speech. Director General of Jama'atul Izalatul Bidia Waik Amatu Sunnah, Ahmed Ibrahim Law, says that there is cause for celebration for Democracy Day, although it has been a struggle in Nigeria. Yes, we have a real cause to celebrate. Nigeria has fared, uh, I can say, very well in the sense that no country got to where it is today without experiencing some political turbulence, including the oldest democracies in the world, which is the United States of America and India. It had been, I can say, a struggle. The chief imam prayed for a peaceful Nigeria going forward. APC presidential candidate Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu was in attendance, as well as the governor of Kano State, Abdullahi Umar Ganduji. FCT Minister Mohammed Musa Bello, the Minister of Information and Culture Lai Mohammed, Senate President Ahmad Lawan, other government officials and tribal heads. Thurey Farouk, Arise News.